You can currently get over 100% real yield on stablecoins, plus points for an airdrop, or over 30% real yield on ETH. I'm Steven the Calculator Guy. Today we're talking about SummerFi. Let's dive right in. If you don't know what SummerFi is, it is a protocol that manages over four billion dollars of assets, which is pretty impressive. And if you are a DeFi OG, you may remember it as Oasis. It was built by a subset of MakerDAO team members and is widely supported by the biggest protocols in DeFi. But what does it actually do? And why am I talking about it? Well, I'm talking about it because the yields are absolutely wild right now due to a number of reasons that we're going to actually discuss so we understand them. As they say, if you don't know where the yield is coming from, then you are the yield. In this case, I'm going to show you where the yield is coming from so that you can get the yield rather than be the yield. And also, uh, it is a leveraging platform, and I like leveraging platforms, um, especially when I have Delta One Exposure or Fundamental Oracles, two other things that we should talk about in this video. Right now, Athena USD, which is USDE, or Staked Athena USD, which is SUSDE, has had a huge spike in the staking rate because of a new mechanism they've implemented where they're getting giving the yield of the unstaked USDE to the SUSD stakers, a la Maker and Spark, if you're familiar with that product. But uh, you may think that if you went to the Athena website and saw a 37.5% or whatever it was, that that was the current staking yield. That is not correct. The current staking yield is actually somewhere closer to 22%. I'll show you how to sort that yourself in a second here. But first, I want to explain why I'm doing this video, which is because I did a post on SummerFi uh, and people were asking me to show them how to open a position as to not get liquidated because whenever you're leveraging, there are a lot of fears and concerns and I want to uh, dispel those to the best of my ability so that you can open positions as informed as humanly possible. So let's dive into the SUSD yield, where it's coming from and how you can benefit from it. Currently, uh, if you look on, I, I included these two links here. If you look on Etherscan, you can see how many rewards are being distributed per epoch. It's $170,000 or 170,000 USDE per epoch. Uh, that is going to a total of 845.6 million uh, staked USDE. So if you just annualize that rate, eight hour epoch, 170,000 uh, total assets, you get a actual current real APR of 22.1%. Using that, we can see if we're going to get a positive yield or negative yield by looking at the underlying markets on SummerFi. SummerFi aggregates all sorts of money market protocols like Aave, Ajna, Maker, Morpho Blue, Spark. Um, and Morpho Blue has had some incredible borrow rates recently. If you go to Morpho Blue, you can see that in the SUSD markets, all of them are below 22%, which means you are getting paid to borrow and leverage. Love to see it. Love to benefit from it, but do be aware that these markets are not infinitely liquid. They range from having only $100,000 left to borrow to having up to $8 million to borrow. Uh, so depending on the size of your personal investment, uh, that will determine which market you want to enter. Now, these also have different liquidation LTVs. Yes, I said liquidation LTVs. Whereas you might be used to max LTVs, which have a buffer where you can max leverage and sort of you know know that you have a buffer before liquidation. These are liquidation LTVs. So if you went all the way to the max and there was even a sneeze of a DPEG, you would or could experience some partial liquidation. And we want to avoid that. And I'm gonna show you how to avoid that. So the markets that are most interesting to me are the ones that have millions of dollars of liquidity like this 91.5% uh, LTV let's just say pool, and this 86% LTV pool. Eight million here, roughly six million here. Plenty of room for everyone to have a good time. Now, another thing to consider is the borrow cost. You wanna know how consistent, how stable they are. Uh, so you can click on the market. I'm gonna go with the 14.35 because that's the one that I'm sort of curious about. And you can see here uh, that borrow rates do spike and do go down. Now, as a reminder, this is Spark. So Spark can issue die, and they do issue die. And if you look at the one month uh, rate, you can see sort of what happened. So what happened was plenty to borrow. Then uh, Athena effectively said, hey, by the way, our staking rate has gone from 12% to 37%. Um, people rapidly rushed in to borrow. Uh, then they deposited more die, more was borrowed, more die. And so you can see sort of like this gameplay. I do think there might have actually been some liquidations here 
for people who are way over leveraged. So that's why I don't recommend pushing uh, the limit of these LTVs. And then of course we saw new deposits and then, you know, the rest is history. The average over like the one month period is around, you know, 12, 13%, which is the average you want to see uh, on this sort of market. But there are some market events which can cause spikes, which is why you want to make sure that you have some room uh, to eat some interest in the event that the supply or the borrow APY goes above the staking rate. And then, of course, you know, DPEX. Uh, but DPEX, not really too scary um, for SUSDE uh, because that market, I mean, you know, that we can go to deck screener and look at it, but we don't have to. The There's very, 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 very smooth um, up and to the right chart there with minimal DPEX. And you might ask why? Well, that's because you can unstake SUSDE for USDE, uh, which means if it were ever to DPEG, arbitragers would quickly eat up that DPEG. Um, just like they would with wrap staked ETH or anything that is unstakeable. If you're wondering where the yield comes from uh, for SUSDE, it comes from a cash and carry trade on Ethereum utilizing uh, major markets. So cash and carry is funding rate arbitrage. Um, so there is a backing actual real yield behind this uh, mechanism. And we're leveraging that effectively. Okay, let's go back to SummerFi. So on SummerFi, you have all these markets. Do, again, remember that the lower the liquidity, the less you can leverage. If you're doing you know, 10x leverage, uh, even though it looks like there is a lot of money here to borrow, $100,000, you could only leverage $12,000, well, a little bit less than that, uh, 12000 actually a little bit more than that. You can only leverage like $13,000, 10x here, uh, or rather we could say you could leverage $12,000, 11x here before you max the entire liquidity. Um, so I would go with the die because die again is spark. They're going to give more borrowable die, uh, so you're going to have a much more consistent rate here, even if the APY or APR is lower. Um, again, I like the ones that have millions of dollars because I just imagine a more consistent borrow cost and borrow rate. Uh, so I'm looking at the 5.7 and the 7.9. Now let's actually dive into the analysis of the yields because even though it says 54% and 77%, that's only like 60% of the yield. You're also getting points or sats on top of that, which, you know, given some of our analysis in the DeFi Dojo, uh, could be worth up to zero point, or, you know, actually this is a pretty bearish estimate, 0 0.000036 uh, dollars per sat. You get five sats per USDE per day in this particular strategy. And so, you know, I'm sixty thousand dollars is quite a bit. Let's do uh, twelve thousand dollars. I like twelve. So at twelve thousand dollars, you know, you would be getting uh, daily total, well, daily real yield of uh, seventy-two dollars, which is you know quite nice. And then the potential airdrop value of twenty-one dollars on top of that, and you're paying forty-seven dollars of interest. So the real yield is higher than the daily interest, which is why you're not going to get liquidated from interest rate, but you might get liquidated by a DPEG. Uh, now, as long as that stays true, that the interest, that the staking rate is higher than the interest rate, interest will not ever liquidate you, but a DPEG could. And by the way, this uses, SUSD market uses market oracles, not fundamental oracles. Market oracles mean it takes the market price of SUSDE, which is beholden to buy and sell pressure on the organic market. Fundamental oracles, like we see with wrap staked ETH over here, uh, do not use market oracles. They use the backing ETH per wrap staked ETH, which only ever and can only ever go up and to the right, which means you are not going to get and cannot get liquidated by DPEGs. You can get liquidated if the borrow cost goes above the staking yield of wrap staked ETH, which is currently 3.19%. So you can see all these are wildly positive uh, yields right now, and you can do some really fancy leverage. But I digress. Let's go back here. So pick the market that you want. Again, me, I'm mostly interested in like the uh, 91.5 with 5 million. So I click on that. You can see the current yield if max leverage, which is kind of risky, is really, really high. Um, I'm getting a number slightly lower than this, but of course I'm using, you know, like the most cutting edge numbers. And I'm sure these update daily. So, you know, it's not going to be as accurate, but of course you can do your own math. I'm going to link this sheet for you to play around with it. As always, blue are inputs, green are outputs. Uh, and so, you know, keep that in mind. My tools can be complicated sometimes. If you have questions, feel free to shoot me a DM. Um, once you're in that, you can say what your principal is. Let's just say $10,000. 
and this slider here is going to change your LTV. Now, if it is a 91.5 liquidation LTV, and I'm okay with a 1.7 DPEG, and I am, uh, I would want to have a target LTV of 90%. Now, yeah, everything else is up to you. This is just me personally. Maybe you're a little bit more uh, bearish or conservative. You may want to do 85%. Still a pretty good SUSDE yield of 65%, right? That is your organic real yield given the current numbers. Uh, and to me, that is quite enticing as a stable coin yield. And then if you want to add the potential airdrop yield, you could be getting around 109% uh, while you're in this. So <laughs> absolutely insane numbers for a stable coin yield um, based on underlying real yield. Like this is not based off of emissions <clears throat> from the Athena team. This is based off of uh, cash and carry funding rate arbitrage on ETH, which is, which is the underlying of the whole Athena project. Okay, so back here. Where are we? Here we are. All right. I had this issue earlier where I was getting this. Let's try again. Let's refresh. It's Murphy's Law. So SUSDE, 91.5. Click on this. Let's see if it loads. Looks like it's loading. And then we'll get these numbers. So what it's going to tell you here is your LTV. Currently, this is a 10% LTV. You'd have a massive uh, <laughs> safety net. But I want to go to 90, which I think is the second to last notch. And so it'll show me two things. One, it'll show me like how much I can DPEG, which is roughly one point whatever percent. Uh, this is 91%. So maybe not quite as, that's a little bit too, too rich for my blood. So I go down a notch. And this might be like 88%. That's fine. Yeah, 90%. This is exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Many things to consider here that I want you to know and understand, right? I want you to fully understand this position. Uh, the more informed you are, the better you can strategize. So first things first, price impact. Uh, there is a 1.2% price impact. You have to multiply that by uh, your leverage minus one. So nine, so nine times 1.2, roughly what? Let's just say 1%. So there will be 1% loss on principal when opening this position because what happens is this will take a flash loan out to borrow nine times your principal, so $90,000 of die, convert that to SUSDE and suffer whatever market swapping fees or, or impact there might be. So 1.2 times 90,000 is, is going to be uh, nine times this number times your principal. So it is a small number, but it's still like something you should consider. And luckily they tell you what your estimated break even is. So one day to break even, that's great. One day to overcome this price impact cost of opening the position. There is also a fee. So uh, SummerFi does take a two, two, 20 bip, 0.2% uh, fee on the required swap. Um, and if you want to mitigate that, you can use a referral link. I will provide my referral link. What that will do is uh, it does benefit me, but it also benefits you. You will get 5% back of your fees and I will get 5% of those fees as well. Uh, if you don't want to use my referral link, you don't have to use anyone else's. I don't mind. I'm just letting you know I have a referral link. You can use it. You will get a better deal on your position um, on those fees. So let's go back here. 90% LTV. Great. It tells you what your debt is. Wonderful. Look at your risks. Use my calculator if you want to. At 90%, you can suffer a 1.7% DPEG. Uh, that has never happened on, on uh, SUSD because, again, it is a redeemable asset. But have your own risk profile. Don't use mine, right? I am here to build tools and tell you how to do things. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you how to do. Very, very, very different. I don't want to be, you know, guilty for you going max leverage and uh, getting hit by adverse market conditions. So once you do that, create the position and you're done. You will start earning. You can monitor your position in real time, uh, which is really, really quite nice. And uh, that's, I'm not going to dox my own positions, um, but, uh, but uh, you know, then you're good to go and you can close that. There's also really nice. There's also stop losses. So if you want to put in a stop loss, let's just say you are worried about a potential DPEG and you want to put a stop loss at a 1% DPEG so that you exit that position before liquidation occurs. I think that's very, very prudent and would recommend uh, setting that up. Cool that Summerfy has that additional um, ability. So one other yield I wanted to look at with you guys is wrap staked ETH ETH because I know that Pendle has some phenomenal fixed rate, fixed date yields, but if you're a, you know, strategy maximalist, uh, like some of, of my, you know, definitely the DeFi Dojo members are, uh, if you're a strategy maximalist, you're probably already, 
exposed to Pendle as much as you want to be and are looking for some other yields. Uh, so I'd go over to the earned product and look at things like wrap staked ETH and see where else can I get yields. And right now, these numbers are looking really good. 38%, 30%, you know, 60% on real yield on ETH. Now, granted, there's not a ton to borrow here. You know, $600,000 uh, at 96.5. By the way, guys, 96.5 is 28x leverage. So uh, at 28x leverage, if there's $600,000, uh, you do leverage minus, so you do this number divided by leverage minus one, which means you could only have a max principal of $21,000. So $600,000 seems like a lot, but if you look at what you could enter as principal with max leverage, it's really not nearly as much as you might think. Okay. so. I'm more interested in, again, the ones with, you know, millions of dollars of uh, available borrowability. And if you go to Morpho, you can see that that particular market with the 5 million to borrow, which is right here, it looks like it's 4 million now, 4.7 million, uh, has an interest rate of 0.82%, which is nuts. So the, borrow, the staking rate of Lido ETH is 3.19%. If the borrow is 0.82%, it's like a 2.5% arbitrage times leverage. Now, if leverage is 20X, things get really interesting. So we go over here and let's do a little bit of estimating. 94.5 uh, is the one that I would go for. I also don't mind max leverage here because fundamental oracles, no DPEG risk, and the borrow cost has, we can look at this market. The borrow cost, I wanna I want show you guys, for this particular market, even on its highest spikes, has only gone up to 1.82% way lower than the staking rate of 3%, which is, you know, not even on this chart. So go, I'm not telling you to go max leverage, but if you did, so long as the staking rate is higher than the supply rate, there is no risk of liquidation because it uses fundamental oracles and not market oracles. If the borrow cost exceeds the staking rate, then and only then are you at risk for liquidation. It could happen, uh, so do be aware of that. Maybe don't go all the way. Maybe you do like some buffer just in the at, in the possible case of this going above 3%. Uh, but if you did that, we're looking at a max yield, um, my calculations of roughly 44% on ETH, which is absolutely phenomenal. This is uh, more or less a sort of set it and forget it um, strategy. And uh, you're not exposed to, let's just say, the, the whims of like the YTs and PTs because those PTs, even though they're fixed rate, fixed state, can go up and down in the interim. Uh, you're also not exposed to, you know, <laughs> assets that you may not like as much. You know, Lido ETH is arguably one of the most robust assets in all of DeFi. So I like this strategy uh, quite a bit. And for like a safe, <laughs> I really don't like using those words, for... Uh, for leveraging up wrap staked ETH, which is historically a great way to boost your ETH yields, this is one of the best places to do it. Okay, that I feel comfortable with uh, saying. There are other ones that you know may fit your fancy, but for what I'm looking at, SUSD and wrap staked ETH are by far the most interesting to me on Summerfly. There are multiply, so you could you know get leverage on uh, wrap staked ETH if you wanted to. It sort of tells you your max leverage, but this is like actual leverage using money markets. You can get liquidated, and you should be fully aware of that. Not really my forte. I like, you know, sort of sitting in spot or doing uh, leverage where my delta, I'm not delta exposed to liquidations. I'm only exposed to liquidation in the event of DPEGs and interest rates, not market conditions. Uh, so I like this stuff. This is, you know, kind of like how, you know, I leverage like a DGEN, but uh, I also think like a, like a risk mitigator. So there's that. All right, I think you guys sort of get the idea of Summerfy. One thing to know, and this is kind of like a, a semi-secret is that Summerfy will have a points campaign starting very soon. And it's unclear whether or not they're going to reward retroactively for users. Uh, but, you know, given that this is the largest automated leveraging protocol in DeFi at $4.1 billion under management, there's a chance that it's a pretty decent uh, protocol, pretty decent token. And, you know, they're making some pretty good fees. I don't know if that's going to include, like if that's going to be in the tokenomics, but if it is, could be a nice asset to have exposure to. So <clears throat> you're not only getting these really good yields and the potential airdrop of Athena, you're also participating in the point campaign for Summerfy and that asset. So there's some other sort of uh, hard to calculate um, value additional to all of this stuff. 
And I believe that campaign will start uh, mid next month. So I'll, as soon as I have more details, I will let you know. I will also say I am an ambassador with Summerfy because, you know, I love their protocol and I, you know, reached out to them uh, or actually we reach out to each other, which is kind of fun. So do know I am a biased person who is making content for a protocol that I work with. Um, I love this protocol. They are the largest leveraging protocol uh, in DeFi as far as I'm concerned or as far as I know and a really, really robust team. But I want to let you know my biases. Last and final thing, <clears throat> if you want to, you know, be on the cutting edge of all of this sort of strategizing uh, and, and yield talking and yield discourse and like what I call a DeFi think tank, the DeFi Dojo Discord is the best place for all of that, hands down by far. We even have our own like internal newsletter if you can't track all the conversations, but it's like you can ask, ask experts <clears throat> to help you on things at any given time and we're just like right there helping you. So the price of that subscription is increasing in six days at the end of this month. It's going from $50 per month to $100 per month. If you want to lock in the $50 rate, you do have to sign up in the next six days. You get a seven day free trial, so you can test it out. If you don't like it, don't pay for it. If you want to pay in crypto, uh, we only accept yearlies and do contact me directly either on Discord or on uh, X, Twitter, um, and I will help you sort that out. Uh, we have a company wallet. We can just use that. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer all of them to the best of my ability. I will also include this sheet if you want to do your own calculations, which I highly recommend that you do do. Um, and I'll include my referral link so you get that fee discount. Have a wonderful rest of your night.